Hi everyone, my name is Amir Khan and this is my model organism presentation. So what is a model organism? A model organism is any non-human species that is used a lot in labs and studied by scientists because they are easy to maintain, easy to breed, and easy to just raise in a laboratory setting. So the model organism I picked to talk to you all about today is the zebrafish, or known in a lab and in scientific settings, the Danio Lirio. So, when were they discovered? In the 1970s and 80s at the University of Oregon, George Dreisinger and his colleagues pioneered using the zebrafish in laboratories. They started by cloning the zebrafish, and their clones are actually some of the most successful variant clones created, and still are so. They pioneered the use of zebrafish and are still recognized for it, so that's pretty cool. So get to know the zebrafish. Zebrafish are usually between 1.8 and 3.7 centimeters long, but can reach up to 4 to 5 centimeters. They have 25 chromosomes, and after 24 hours of the eggs being laid, they develop all of their organs and hatch within 3 days and start looking for food. So that's probably why scientists use them, because they reproduce very quickly, so it's nice. They reach sexual maturity in three to four months, and a single female can lay up to 200 eggs weekly. So 200 eggs weekly, and three days later after they're laid, they start looking for food. So that's why scientists like them. They're easy to maintain and breed and study. And they also need a rich diet of vitamin C because they lack the enzyme to synthesize it from glucose. So how are they used in science? Zebrafish have all the major organisms, organs, I'm sorry, involved in the process of metabolism. So they're usually mainly studied, um, mainly used to study human metabolic disorders, such as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, type 2 diabetes, and other hepatic diseases. So why I chose to talk to you all about zebrafish is there's a lot of um, model organisms out there that scientists use. But when I saw a zebrafish, I really wanted to do it because ever since I was younger, I've always had a passion for fish. Like in eighth grade for my science fair, I created a hybrid fish, but two different species of fish, five of each, male and female in a tank, and they bred and I got a hybrid fish and I um, did a whole project on that and I got second place in my um, science fair. So talking about fish is a passion to me and my parents used to own a fish tank business when I was younger so fish are just a part of the family so talking about these fish are pretty cool to me and these are my citations so I hope you enjoyed my presentation on zebrafish and have a nice day thanks